In 2024, majority of Americans want it faster, simpler, and easier. It's a big blue ocean, okay? 5% of the United States merchants right now are using this. 5% or less are using this program, the cash discount program. I want some of you guys to Google, okay, how big the merchant services industry is. Now, I know from prior researching this, that's over $10 billion easily. You don't think that you going into the store saying, hey, I can go ahead and save you all the fees and go ahead and you can use that extra $18,000 and put it back in your business. Go pay your taxes. Go buy that new pickup truck that you need to pick up the groceries so you guys can cook and stay in business another year or use that as salary for another employee. You got to show them the vision. Welcome, 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 guys. It is another Wednesday live training inside of here, Cashless ATM for Beginners. I'm going to be your host, Paul Alex, founder of MerchantAutomation.com, guys. And we have a very exciting, exciting live training with one of my business partners, John Sarabia, guys. If you guys already know John, John is a veteran in the game. He's been in the game for the past, oh, a little bit over 18 years now, guys. And he has helped thousands of people start in the merchant services industry based out of los angeles california and nationwide guys so you guys are in for a treat tonight okay we're going to be talking about the following guys we're going to be talking about how to build financial wealth with credit card terminals okay if you guys know my background i come from the atm industry coming from the atm industry guys our arch nemesis was credit card terminals okay and that's that's as simple as i can break it down but what got me into merchant services, which is a simple, very simple strategy that actually I was introduced in late of December 2022 from my business partners, John Sarabia and Rob Sin, who are the co-founders of our ISO processing company, independent sales organization that facilitates the actual network for our credit card terminals nationwide. So now that we have over 400 clients and over, guys, over 500 locations nationwide it is grew and it's just growing faster and faster and faster every single month guys we are sitting on a gold mine here because why because the rest of the united states still doesn't know anything about this program a lot of our competitors are not pushing this program because why lack of conviction lack of vision lack of foundation and just sales ability guys but what happens when you take a few of the top tier entrepreneurs in the digital marketing space combine them with the top tier entrepreneurs in the merchant services place and then you create an awesome kick-ass team to lead the way guys we will dominate not only the united states but Canada coming up in the next six months, guys. So if you're Canadian and you're watching this, hey, just hang in there. We got your six, okay? We got your back. With that being said, guys, the way that we look at this industry, the, the merchant service industry, it's a big blue ocean. And what do I mean a big blue ocean? Well, in business, we look at opportunity, okay? And this is what happens. This is what happens when everybody else fears opportunity right now, especially with the election coming up everything else people just looking in the news they're like oh man what's gonna happen you know who's gonna go ahead and and and, and become our president and we're not gonna turn this into a political party right now but that's that that's the headlines right now so what do you do you put your blinders on and this is what they taught me ever since i was an offer you put your blinders on and you focus you hyper focus on what you need to do in order to build generational wealth for you and your family okay and this is what has allowed me to become financially free in the past six years since i have started building everything with such a simple business which my first business as you guys know was with atms and then atms made me financially free got into digital marketing exposed me to the online world after 80 years of not being in the online world was able to create a kick-ass company in that industry met my business partners which then they were like dude we need to do something about merchant services. 
Merchant services, it's the next big blue ocean. And I said, why? Why is it the big blue ocean, guys? I already had built my wealth off of other industries. I've already ran multiple companies. So why should I go ahead and invest into this, this industry? It was simple. It's a simple strategy that I'm actually going to break down to you just like they broke it down to me. So imagine if you were to go to any of the businesses that you guys use every single day. We're talking about your coffee shops. We're talking about your liquor stores. We're talking about your convenience stores, your liquor stores, your grocery stores, um, meat markets, whatever it is that you guys go to every single day, even barbershops. And what if you were to go and actually ask the merchants, the business owners that you guys already interact with on a daily basis and just have a simple conversation by saying, Hey, how much are you currently paying in your credit card processing fees? Well, the answer they're going to give you, number one, is they're not going to think anything of it. They already know you. You have already built foundation. So now this is where we're coming in with some value, right? Which is one, well, actually, uh, it's one of the top three pillars that I like to use whenever I go ahead and I negotiate deals. So how do we build value? Well, what if you, yes, you, were able to go to your business owner or merchant or your potential client and say, hey, I can wipe off all of your fees, wipe them all off. And they're like, well, how come how, my bank hasn't done that? Why hasn't my product, credit card processing company done that yet, Paul? Well, here's the thing. If a credit card processing company, which majority of them are pretty massive right now, hasn't offered you this specific program, which all of us, we know is called the cash discount program. Okay. And if you guys are paying attention, I want you to comment right now. Yes, you, I want you to comment right now. Cash discount down in the comments below. Go ahead and comment cash discount. And this is very important guys. It's very important because attention to detail, just how I've always been taught with everything that I've done. You have to be squared away and you have to pay close attention to absolutely everything because this is very important. We're here trying to close deals, right? So the cash discount program, I'm able to wipe 100% of your fees. In exchange, we're going to do a couple things to actually boost more cash flow into your business, okay? Number one, you could raise the pricing on all your products and services that you are currently selling right now. The reason for that is because if we're going to wipe out all of your fees, you're going to want to put the fees onto your clients. Well, Paul, let me stop you right there. I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that. Look, hear me out real quick. Okay. We've already helped hundreds of accounts do this. And it's actually a big blue ocean right now. Not a lot of banks, not a lot of merchant services companies are doing this right now, just simply because they already have your business. And because they already have your business, they don't want to go ahead and actually play with their clients. They don't want to go ahead and risk losing their clients to the competitor because they haven't given them the best deal. But check this out. Since I have been using your account, since I've read your reviews on Yelp, since I have already came into your business as a client and I know the top tier service, I know that you guys are the best of the best in your market, I figure from another entrepreneur to another entrepreneur, I want to save you some money. So right now, on average, let's say that you are spending an additional $500 okay, a month paying credit card processing fees, all right? A, on a yearly basis, what is that if we do the numbers? That's around six grand. And if we were to do that in the next two, three years, okay, what is that? That's 12,000 the second year. That's 18,000 the third year, guys. So at the end of the day, I'm helping you actually save a good chunk of change. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Business Owner and Mrs. Business Owner? Paul, you're absolutely right. But I mean, go on, continue. How does this work? Well, the way it works is we could go ahead and raise up the pricing off of your items or your services just a tad. And then 
you could go ahead and offer a discounted rate, which we're going to call it a cash discount to your clients. And if they pay with cash, they could go ahead and actually get a percentage, either a flat fee or a percentage off of the service or item. If they want the convenience of using their credit card, which, hey, in 2024, especially in the United States, people are paying for convenience all day, every day, guys. I don't like going to the malls myself, okay? I pay for one to two day shipping because it's a convenience fee. Let me repeat that one more time. In 2024, majority of Americans want it faster, simpler, and easier. If you are creating your own problem by saying, well, merchants are not gonna go for this because they're gonna think that their clients are gonna go away. You are creating your own problems. Business is simple. You just have to show the vision to the merchant and let them know, look, how is Uber Eats and Uber? How are these all companies that leverage small business owners, billion dollar companies now? How is that possible if they're losing all their clients, guys? At the end of the day, some people will buy and some people won't. But for the people that will, it's a big blue ocean. Okay, 5% of the United States merchants right now are using this. 5% or less are using this program, the cash discount program. So when you look at it like from that perspective, guys, how many businesses and what I want you guys to do right now, if you guys are hearing me, okay, because I know some of you guys are hearing me, but you're not hearing me. I want some of you guys to Google, okay, how big the merchant services industry is. Now, I know from prior researching this, that's over $10 billion easily, easily. And it's growing every single year. Fees are going up. Inflation's going up, guys. So what do you think is happening to the small business owner? What do you think is happening to the brick and mortar uh, mom and pop shops that are barely surviving? You don't think that you going into the store saying, hey, I can go ahead and save you all the fees and go ahead and you can use that extra $18,000 and put it back in your business. Go pay your taxes. Go buy that new pickup truck that you need to pick up the groceries so you guys can cook and stay in business another year or use that as salary for another employee. You got to show them the vision. And I guess I'm so passionate about this because I've had family. I have my mother actually run a small restaurant back when I was a kid. And it didn't succeed because of cash flow. It's very, very difficult nowadays for small business owners to survive. And these credit card processing fees are not helping them out. So you can go out there and actually become that hero. You can become that man or woman in your city or state and be that number one person that can offer this program. Because the banks are not leveraging it. They don't care. They already have hundreds of millions of dollars throughout the United States, guys. It's a numbers game to them. They have websites. They're known. They've been in the industry for years. But if you're coming in here as a smaller merchant services agent, you guys have the opportunity to dominate. Why? Because when most people ask, well, Paul, <clears throat> what makes you and your company different? It's us. It's us. Ain't nobody else got John Sarabia. Ain't nobody else got Rob Sin. Ain't nobody else got Gem. Nobody else got our team. At the end of the day, it's us that makes the company, guys. It's you who make your company in your city. We're not here to go against each other. No, we're here to help each other out as a team because it takes a team to actually build a successful business, guys. And this is what it is. It's a big blue ocean. It's a big opportunity. And this is coming from a person that came from the ATM industry that was able to make it very successful in the ATM industry, guys. And I'm telling you right now, this is humble beginnings of where – the, the, the last program was at three years ago, and it's just getting started, guys. So if you guys are looking for this opportunity, this is exactly how you guys make money. So not only do you wipe all the fees away from the merchant, but guess how you get paid? Every single time that a client chooses that convenience, like me, I'm not going to lie, guys. I choose convenience all the time. Whenever I go to the valet. Hey, do you want to valet your car or you want to self-park? 
Dude, I'm in a hurry. I don't got no time to self-park my car. I'll pay the additional $10. Hey, sir, you, you want to use your Amex? Hey, I want to use it at my Amex. You know why? Because I get 5X the points, and I can use those points to go and, and take some flights or, or pay for my parents to come over to Miami from California once a month, right? So at the end of the day, guys, there's different people for different things, and this is the opportunity of a lifetime, guys. This is why I love it so much. This is why we focus solely on this strategy. We don't focus on anything else. But here's the great part about this. You also have access to dozens of other strategies within the merchant services industry that you're able to leverage. So what if you were to go in there and actually have a nine-figure entrepreneur, have someone with the experience that of the man who, who's going to come up here in the next couple minutes, and he's able to tell you, look, just offer him this. Offer him this. You know, let's let's review the numbers. And you have that opportunity to actually get personal advice from actual entrepreneurs that have built these highly successful businesses within this industry, guys. And here's how you make money. You get a percentage. You get a percentage of every single card swipe. Every single time that somebody swipes that card, okay, that's the convenience fee. You guys are getting paid every single month and guess what the biggest difference between this and the atm industry which is i love the hundreds and thousands of people guys and I'm, I'm serious about this because we've talked to so many entrepreneurs in the past almost four years now that their number one concern with atms was holding cash which i understand which i understand right I come from law enforcement, so I have a different perspective on how I handle things and safety and all that jazz. But if you are ever looking to start with ATMs and you're not comfortable handling cash in public, then this is, this is it. This is it. This is the business you're going to want to be in. And the reason why I see this, because imagine you close the deal or we close the deal for you because we have different options. And then you tell your client, hey, your terminal, your system will be here within a couple of weeks. It gets drop shipped. You don't have to worry about programming the terminal because it's already pre-programmed by our team. And then on top of that, let's say, all right, you go and you stop by the client, which I would. I love to do face-to-face -face with my clients. And you tell me, hey, how's everything going? They gotta be, man, I'm saving so much money, Paul. This is amazing. This is the next move you guys need to do in order to make some more money, some more residuals. You guys need to go in for that referral. Yes, it's as simple as that, guys. You guys can go in and now ask them for a referral and say, hey, is there anyone else I can help save thousands of dollars like I'm helping you? And guess what? You're not going to come off salesy. You're actually going to come off like somebody that cares. Education, value, foundation. Those are the top three pillars that has made our industries, our companies, my sales guys, my consultants, John, who you're going to talk to right now in a minute, but everybody, every one of us, highly successful guys, because we focus, we hyper focus on those three things, okay? And you need to hyper focus on those three things. It's not as hard as everybody makes it out to seem. Sales, you just have to have people skills, soft skills, right? Like back in the day. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. All right. So here's some good stuff before we go and we present John. John's going to be up in the next couple of minutes.